Legends again. It's a Wannable unboxing time. And this is the first time I think I've had this box where I'm opening it either the day of or like the next day. And it hasn't sat in my makeup room for a couple weeks. <laughs> I don't know how I do that. All of you are like, how do you do that? How do you just not break into your makeup? And seriously, I don't know. Um, but I'm really excited to open this, so let's just bust it open and see what we got. Okay, so it always says, I always mention this in my video, how it says that it's packaged for April Harker, which is me, which I think is such a nice touch. On the top, they have their little quote thing. This is, this says, we've missed your smiling face. Oh, that's sweet. Um, and then the back says, people will, st people will stare, make it worth their while, Harry Winston. That's kind of cool. So it looks like there's four full-size items in here, and I already see a Vincent Longo item, which I'm really excited about. So I think I'm going to pull that one out first. Um, this is the Vincent Longo Pressed Powder in the shade, what is this? I don't know, does it say? I don't know, but I'm going to open it up, maybe it'll say. Okay, so this is in the shade Banana Number 2. Their packaging is really sleek and nice. I love the color of, like, it's like a jade green almost. I think it's so pretty. And then, okay, and then it has the plastic film thing on it. This is kind of nice. So I think this is actually a, maybe a little bit too light for my skin tone, actually. Since I've been, yeah, it's, I don't know. We'll make it work. The, the powder is really soft, so that's nice. I just think right now this might be a little bit too light for my skin tone because of, like, summertime. So I might actually get more use of the use out of this in the winter time. Um, but yeah, it's it's a very soft milled powder, which is nice. Um, and I have been able to try the other Vincent Longo um, eyeshadow that I purchased, and I will do a review on for you guys very shortly. So I'm actually really excited about this. Um, I just wish it was like maybe a shade darker so that I could use it in the summertime, but. I might have to wait on this. We'll see. So the next thing that I see is this Ofra lip liner in the shade Cherish. I've heard some really amazing things about this brand. I'm going to do a swatch. So, I, I mean, I've heard some really great things about this brand, so I'm kind of excited about that. Ooh, this is a really pretty color. It's a very, very pink, kind of a darker pink color. It's really pretty. I like it. Um, I don't use lip liners a lot. I just, I just don't. I probably should, but I just don't. So maybe this will give me a reason to start using them. I do have quite a few. Um, I have some BH Cosmetics. I have a couple NYX. I have, I think I have a couple even Urban Decay liners. I don't know. But I just, I don't know, I don't reach for them. So I don't know. Maybe this will make me start reaching for them. Oh, this smells good. <laughs> uh, yeah, this smells really good. Okay, this is the La Bella Donna. Moonlight, Moonlight Highlight Cream Color. So I'm assuming this is like a blush or like a blush or highlight. We shall see. We'll do a swatch for you guys. Oh no, this is definitely a highlight. This is not super, super pigmented pink like it looks like in the pot. But as you can tell right here, this kind of shimmery spot, this is kind of a pinky golden highlight. There you go. You can see it better. It's a pink kind of golden highlight. And it's really, really nice. I actually don't own too many um, cream highlighters. So this is nice. I will get some good use out of this. Uh, I will say this packaging really blows. Like, this is straight up plastic and not nice plastic. So the packaging is not something I would have expected from Wannable. And I'm not real thrilled about that. But I do like the product overall. So this last product is Gleam by Melanie, Mil Melanie Mills. Um, this says it's a body radiance. I'm going to read the back because I'm not exactly sure how to use this. It says, Gleam creates luminous velvety perfection for the skin in an instant. That's cool. Um, created by Emmy Award winning makeup artist Melanie Mills, this hydrating glamour fix is botanically infused with jojoba oil and aloe based potion that refines and beautifies skin tone by delivering a shimmering pure glitz and glam. Hollywood finish. It's transfer resistant and long wearing. Okay, it says massage cream onto skin, allow to dry and wash hands. All right, so I'm going to test this out and see how this looks. Oh, it's definitely kind of a rose gold. I'm just going to use a little tiny bit. So that's all I use. It's definitely kind of like a rose goldy tone. Oh, it's really, really pretty. 
very, very pretty. Can you see that? Oh, it smells so good. This smells um, very botanical, like very floral almost selling, smelling. It's, yeah, it smells really, really good. And it does kind of leave like a really nice, almost goldeny bronze sheen to the skin. So this is really nice. I don't know if I would be using this on my face or my body. I guess this is used more for the body since it said it was, what did it say? It said body radiance. So I guess this is something to use more for the body. So that's cool. I don't know. I don't really know how to feel about this. I don't normally wear, you know, body radiance type stuff. All right, guys. So that's it for the products that I got. I'm just going to move on to the prices of everything. So the first thing on here is the Gleam by Melanie Mills. Um, the Gleam Body Radiance Highlighter for $30. So this retails for $30. And I really feel like this is not a good size full size for that price. Um, I definitely would not pay $30 for a full size of that. Too much money for me. Um, plus, I just don't have a use for that. It's just not something I think I will use very often. So paying $30 for that is kind of a waste of money to me. Then the second thing is the Belladonna uh, Moonlight Highlighter, um, the pink kind of highlighter. This also retails for $30, and I'm very surprised that this is that expensive. The product itself is very, very nice, like I said, but the packaging in this is just horrendous. Like, it's awful. It's just straight up plastic crap packaging. So I definitely wouldn't pay $30 for this just based on the packaging alone. If I'm going to pay that much for a product, it better look really nice and have great packaging. That's all I'm going to say. So the Ofra lip liner, it says I got mine in the color Baby Doll, but I actually got mine in the color Cherish. <laughs> um, these retail for $10. I probably would pay that much for this. Um, from what I've heard, like I said, this brand seems like a really great brand. From, from what I've seen from other people's reviews on their one with boxes and stuff, this brand seems like a really great brand. And... I've paid more than that for lip liners in the past, so I definitely would pay $10 for this. Hope, hopefully, I'll get some good use out of this. Hopefully, I'll reach for it a little bit because I just, lip liners and me, for some reason, we just don't get along. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to get some good use out of this. And then the Vincent Longo Pressed Face Powder and Golden Banana retails for $28. So this thing's $28, and I don't know necessarily that I would pay, pay $28 for this shade because I can't wear it right now, which kind of bums me out. But um, maybe if it was a darker shade that I was able to wear in the summertime, I, I might like it a little bit better. But like I said, I'm going to have to wait till wintertime until my tan fades a little bit because this is just too light. Though I do really, really like the product. I think the, um, the powder itself is a very, very nice powder. So Hopefully, I'll be able to get more use out of it in the wintertime. Alright guys, that's it for my Wannabell unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, leave me some comments down below if you guys want to see any of these products in a Worth It Wednesday review. And I'll definitely get around to doing that review for you guys. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed. As always, you know what to do. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.